Hey guys, so I'm going to show you today how to go from your regular fair color to then darkening your foundation and deciding which one is the right color when you've got a spray tan. So I am normally pretty fair, but I got a spray tan and so now I'm a lot darker. And what you'll realize is you'll have to go darker at least two to three shades from your current foundation color. So for example, if I normally wear the CC cream in the very light color, I'm gonna go to light to medium. That's still not gonna be dark enough. I'm gonna end up at medium to deep. And so I applied the medium to deep. That looks like the perfect color. It matches all the way down with the spray tan. And now I'm gonna match for if I'm using the matte wear foundation. So normally my color is either this ivory 140. I kind of go between this ivory neutral 140 to this ivory warm 150 because I have very olive skin tone because I'm Italian. And although I look fake Italian most of the time because I'm very fair skin and look like I haven't been outside, um, I can be in this neutral because I can burn first if I don't have color, and but then I tan and get really dark. So that's why I'm saying I could be a neutral or a warm. If I was somebody who just burned and never tanned, then I would definitely be a cool undertone, which are specifically the ones that are marked here. So if I go with what my normal coloring is, which is the ivory neutral 140 or the 150, I'm now gonna go two to three shades darker in my tone. So what would that look like for me? Well, let's count. So as I look at these foundation shades, we go to neutral 160, that would technically be one in the neutral. Then we go to warm 100, that would be one in the warm. I gotta go two or three though. All of these beiges down here are cool tones, so I'm skipping all of these. And the next neutral tone is 150. So that would be two shades darker because we had a neutral 160, the next one was neutral beige 150. We have neutral or we have beige warm 160, which would be now two warmer shades from this warm ivory 150. So we had ivory 150, then we darkened it one time with beige warm 100, then we darkened it a second time with beige warm 160. Looking at this, I still don't think this is going to be dark enough, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to go three shades in these foundations because there's so many colors. So I'm going to go one darker. Now this last one in my tray here is beige cool 170. So now this means that I'm into the darker beiges now. So as I open up my second one, the next ones are beige warm 180 and I've got the beige neutral 190. So most likely this is about three shades right here. This is what I'm going to be. So I'm going to try this out first. I'm going to go for the warm because I do have a spray tan and that gives me more of like heating up this olive complexion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little Q-tip here and I'm gonna show you how I would match to see if this is the right color for taking the warm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this in a couple different places. First, I'm gonna take it to the middle of my face. And let me just look at that really quick because I think that one pretty much disappears. So I'm gonna try that there but I'm also gonna try it on my neck. So you really wanna make sure it, it works in a couple different areas. So I'm gonna take it there, but I'm also gonna take it down in this neck area where I also have the tan. And I'm gonna make sure, is that the right color? And that looks like a really great color match for me. So now what I'm going to do is, so that's the warm color tone. Now I'm gonna just make sure, I think I wanna stay in warm as I'm looking at the neutral, there's not gonna be many differences there, but I'm just gonna go one shade darker to just show you guys what would be the darkest that I could potentially be, and it's the Bronze Warm 100. So I'm gonna try that one, and here's where I'll know if I went too dark and I have the right tone or not. So let's go like over here. So right now, you guys, actually, the Bronze Warm 100, which you would think, that's crazy, that's so dark, blends right in to my spray tan. Now it does make the spray tan a little bit warmer, but it doesn't leave like an orangey look to it. So I have some options here. So here's what you could do. You could take a little bit of your darkest one, or you could go a little bit lighter knowing that the tan is going to wear off. So here's another perfect example. If I take this here, so you can see, see how that's so much warmer with the bronze warm 100? So I think what I'm going to be doing, because that seems a little bit too warm to me, that beige warm 180, 
I could even go to one of the neutrals and try that, one of the darker neutrals, which I'm gonna try beige neutral 210, just to see how that looks. Mm. I'm really liking that color as well. Still a little bit warmer than I would want. I feel like I could do the medium to deep CC cream and then touch up a little bit with that same one that I had, which is the beige warm 180. I really just like the tone of that. And that's about exactly three colors from what I currently use. So I hope that that helps. If you have questions, always know that you're not just going to go to the next foundation. You're going to go to the next foundation in your tone. And then if you're trying to darken up, go two to three darker in that tone. It's going to feel like it's so much darker, but I swear when you go to blend that in, you're going to notice, yeah, I need to go darker than I probably thought, right? Okay. I hope that helps.